recognize it. I think if you guys have been watching the videos and speed yellow is a Porsche color. You should recognize that if you've been watching the videos also that's the interior color of the speedster. So we didn't actually choose that but that's how they do it. So we chose the Saros. Uh yeah I think it turned out really good and it kind of is an homage to the cars. Um the inside is also that speed yellow. Actually the outside might not be one of them is I don't think it's both but this definitely looks like speed yellow to me. It's just I don't think they use speed yellow that much on the outside of Porsches only stitching so maybe it was that but these 450s are just super quiet i mean i'm coming from 700 racing motors um the old cigarette which is on this channel uh <laughs> the difference is um, like a mclaren and a toyota <laughs> in noise it's just these are toyotas with mclaren power it's basically how i would describe it even though 450 and 450 doesn't sound like the triple 700s we had this boat only weighs 5,500 pounds, and it's got so little drag, uh, it goes 135 <laughs> instead of 90, so, yeah. On the 39, they did an amazing job. There's a ton of storage. You got this, you got this, you got that, and you got this huge thing, which carries basically everything we take with us on the boat, but if you need a little extra storage. And if you need that extra storage here on the bow, we have two big hatches down here that can fit literal water skis on each side. Now obviously you wouldn't be worried on this boat, but I'm just trying to give it size context. It goes like all the way up, all the way back, and it's all the width of the boat, basically, of each uh, tunnel. So, yeah, it's a lot of storage on this boat, and the plates are always in the perfect position. Here's your helm, you got a really nice wheel, you got your radio there, it's a Fusion Bluetooth radio. You got your big Garmin, and then you got your SmartCraft on the bottom. Uh, it's pretty simple. These are some of the nicest models I've ever seen, they're just really easy. Uh, the key, the first turn does nothing, second gives you a little functionality like trim and stuff, and the gas runs through the motor, and then the next one it starts. Here are some of your controls, you got the two bilges, because remember you got two tunnels, so port and starboard. You got your lights, all three. You got blowers, which are not actually a blower like you would think on a boat, it's actually like AC. You have these for hot takes, remember you're under this windshield, and it's, you know. Uh, you got the horn, obviously, and then the, this whole interior is cool touch, so even on a hot day, it's cool to touch. It's, it's not hot. The only thing that will get hot is the paint, but I mean, I don't know why you'd be touching this. It's not something that you'd really be grabbing. And actually, that's, nothing really is hot. The paint, if you're walking on a barefoot, is definitely not great. It's a great boat.
best view of this boat is always the bird's eye view. Look at that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more on this boat or other boats, let me know. There's a progression 29 up there. Uh, two GP 1800Rs. So if you guys are into jet skis, let me know. But uh, yeah. Good outro for you, for me at least. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you guys like what you saw, please leave a sub. Thank you guys.